If you think coyotes are becoming more prominent and comfortable in Edmonton, you're right. In dog parks, in neighborhoods, just walking her around residential sidewalks, in the green space, along the river, you'll run into them you know, all year round. A new report by the Edmonton Urban Coyote Project says both coyote boldness and human concern with coyotes are increasing significantly. As people have long expected in Edmonton, uh, human coyote conflict has been rising with a 2% annual increase in bold coyote behavior from 2012 to 2022. Uh, and a similar rise in humans' concern about coyotes. Members of the public voluntarily reporting coyote encounters through a web-based platform filed over 9,000 reports between January 2012 and December 2021. Reports included evaluations of coyote boldness based on the animal's reported behavior and human concern determined from emotions or perceptions about coyotes. Wildlife researcher Jonathan Farr says analysis showed coyotes were bolder in less developed open areas during the pup rearing season, but human concern was higher in residential areas during the dispersal season. Coyotes tend to access a lot of human food. Uh, that's compost, garbage, bird seed, and that can actually bring coyotes into areas of high human use, which helps them become more used to people, which can lead to more boldness and aggression down the road. Some of the dog walkers I spoke to tell me it's typically heavily treed areas like this one here behind me or at the edge of an off-leash park where coyotes can be found trying to lure pets into an ambush. You'll see one that will is quite a bit smaller than the rest and it will uh, run back and forth and attract dogs to chase it and it will gradually lure them closer and closer to the trees where the rest of the pack is waiting. Members of the community are advised to avoid confronting a coyote, but if one is nearby, safe attempts to scare it away from the area could dissuade the animal from thinking it's a safe place and prevent it from returning in the future. In Edmonton, Elliot Knopp, City News.